Are you good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday evening, the result was probably the most important. Oh, yeah, yeah, two points on the board now. So we look to go to Crow Park now with a big game and big game this Saturday evening. But um, no, we were we were delighted with, that, with the interim game, I suppose. Unhappy to concede 126, but I must say Antrim were unbelievably efficient. Like their their forwards were savage now, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, happy where our lads are at now, and just hopefully get everyone back on the pitch for this Saturday evening. Now, were you obviously the points were essential? Were you demanding a performance as well? Well, Sean, how are you? As well, the way Salt Hill fizzled out. Uh, yeah, we should look for a performance any day. I suppose the most disappointing thing about Salt Hill was we scored two goals. We were two goals after five minutes and we were very poor for the next 15. At least the other day we started well against Centrum. We kept it going for most of the most of the first half. So, um, look, we're looking for a performance every day, but it's... it's um, we just we weren't good enough up in Salt Hill. God, we were the better team, and and uh, we needed to rectify a few things. And we did that against Centrum, but we still need to improve again now heading to Croker. Is this weekend essentially knockout, or is that how you're looking at it? Or? No, well, you look at uh, Leinster at the moment is all like you see with the draw the other day. Now we have to win our last three games to, to qualify, and that's the reality. So every day is knockout now. Uh, I'd say Munster is, isn't much different either. Um, so yeah, if we don't get a result in Crow Park this Saturday, then we're going to be under massive pressure. You don't think having less than three wins will do it for you? You think you need to win every game to be? Uh... Yeah, well, I suppose our target is Leinster final, so okay. we need three wins. Um, we don't need to be, you know, if we don't get a result in Croker this weekend, we're, we're going to be under pressure, even if we win our last two games uh, against Westmead and Kilkenny. So, um, no, every game is every game is do or die now. Does that throw the argument out the window then that there's not as much jeopardy in Leinster? No, nah, it's rubbish. It's rubbish talk. Yeah. Well, sure. You if you bring in Clare, bring in Tip into play, into play even against Antrim last weekend, into play Dublin and Crow Park this weekend. I guarantee you they'll be doing their homework. They'll be doing their homework as well. The Munster games, right? They're they're firing brimstone and it is absolutely 100 mile an hour stuff um, the intensity levels haven't been as high in Leinster yet but I guarantee you by the time the end of the Leinster Championship is done that teams will be tired coming out of it as well Do you feel much pressure going into last weekend? It's pressure every day <laughs> But even more so just after the first the first day and people Antrim got a result the first day and people are thinking geez, there could be a potential shock mm. on the cards here Yeah yeah no no like I suppose we were just disappointed with the performance in Galway. We knew what Antrim were going to be, regardless of the result they got against Dublin, we knew they were going to be very, uh, very, very good, and which they were. So, um, yeah, the pressure was mounting a small bit, and uh, I thought our lads responded well to the pressure. Getting Lee back on the field was a big thing for us. Uh, he's such a huge player for us, and um, he performed very well, even when we were under the cost of the start of the second half. He caught a few serious balls, won a few frees, got a few scores, and he dragged us back dra- dragged us back properly into the game. So, um, yeah, look, there's pressure every day. There's huge pressure going into this Saturday now. A um, lot of pressure on Dublin too, I'd say, yeah, yeah. Um, which is ideal. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, uh, Yeah, no, so, look, every day is from, from here on now to the end of the Munster and the Lynch Championship, every day is a, is a pressure day. Much crack with this man here beside you on the sideline. No, he was very quiet, actually. Just, I haven't seen him as quiet in years, but uh, no, no. Was, and even there was a temporary referee there. Yeah, Mike there, Kennedy, yeah, yeah, no, we were we were taking over the place in Wexford Park, but no, good crack with Darren. Sure, look, we'd be, I suppose, we out of all intercompany managers, we'd probably talk the most. We, he's on the road down from Belfast every Tuesday yeah, night. Yeah. I'm on the road home from Wexford, so we, we have a chat most weeks about how things are going. It was a bit mm. radio silence the last <laughs> fortnight or that, but uh, no, we tick tack over and back a lot about preparation and about, you know, even the likes of training camps and different things like that. So it's nice to have a sounding board there. I suppose both of us then probably use Liam as the sounding board board for the real important stuff then yeah, yeah. when it gets going but uh, no it's good to have Darren is, uh, he's a few years experience in the job now and I suppose I'm in my second year so like I said it's good to be able to tick tack over and back over certain things You mentioned Lee Chin there he's just he's, so, he's just a game changer isn't he? Yeah really? yeah yeah he is and like he's more than more than a player for us as well like, he's our captain obviously but it's just he draws so many players to him um, people probably still don't give him as much credit as they should for his hurling ability uh, you know he's obviously physically very dominant and he's he's a serious seriously hard man to handle but his leadership qualities but most of all his hurling ability when he's on the pitch it was very evident in Wexford Park the other day how he was bringing other players into into play like he's he's at times he's not greedy enough um, you know he throws around a lot of ball and, and he's a huge player for us he's, he's been really unlucky in my tenure to 
16 months I've been there he's been unlucky last year with the hamstring this year he just got a, a knock the Monday night before Galway uh, give his AC joint a bit of a pinch so he's still not fully right but he was huge for us last Saturday and he's going to be even bigger for us this uh, Saturday evening in Crow Park and uh, we're just lucky to have him he, Did he come through last weekend alright I saw him hitting a free at the end off his left hand side and I was wondering if Yeah what anything. was wrong yeah, yeah no he's still he is sore now he yeah. is sore he came through okay and he will be fine for the Dublin game but uh, again credit to the man like he's playing through the pain barrier to even to play last weekend um, he was just really unlucky the way the challenge he just ran into a lot, ran into a lot of training on the Monday night and, and it's it's a sore one but um, thankfully got through last weekend and we're looking forward to seeing him this Saturday now again Otherwise, how's the kind of bill of health? Is that kind of... Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're hoping Damien Reck will be on the field now this Saturday. So if Damien's back, Niall Murphy, Rory Higgins and Ian Carty, three lads who played a good bit of league for us, they're all back now as well. They're back training tonight. So um, we're getting there after having a serious hard run of uh, stuff over the last four months. Similar to most counties, but um, we're, we're nearly back to full bill, full bill of health now. There's kind of a sense of things kind of coming right I suppose in the camp then when you kind of get more yeah, and more players yeah, back yeah, on the field. Yeah exactly look like we, we went to Salt Hill and we, we took the field without our captain and our vice captain without our main our centre back and our centre forward so um, we just you know no team can, can afford to lose players like that so um we seem to be getting everyone back now, so touch wood, nothing happens over the next few days. But um, if we can get everyone on the field, we're going to be a dangerous outfit. Mm. Are there things you kind of identified from Salt Hill that you were able to rectify? What kind of did you look at or what did you take yeah. that into? Yeah, like I said, we started very well. Um, we were very, very poor then um, for, you know, for for the next 15, 20 minutes. So there are things we went after. Uh, probably Ian and Murphy hurt us on the puck outs. We just... We, uh, we concede a lot of score from, from the opposition puck out. So there's stuff we are working on, like Dublin. We know what Dublin are going to throw at us. Um, they're very, very sharp on their puck outs. Sean Brennan, I think, is having a major influence on in how their games are panning out. Obviously, they're half hard line with Donald Burke. Um, Donald Burke, Danny Sutcliffe, you know, they're, they're going to be two big players for them as well. So we're kind of doing, we're, we have a lot of analysis done. We're doing our, doing our homework on each team and it's coming thick and fast. You know, we're, we're in tonight. We'll do a quick review of the Antrim game, quick preview of the Dublin game. But most importantly, we want to be on the pitch. The even, nice evenings are coming. Lads don't want to be sitting inside watching clips of this, that and the other. So, um, yeah, there's certain stuff we need to identify, certain stuff we need to improve on. Um, we're still not tight enough at the back. We're conceding, you know, we conceded 126 the other day, 24 points the previous day you know for a team we had a very solid defensive record last year we're conceding weight uh, you know too much so far this year so that's something we're going to be going after now this Sunday or and Saturday you, and you mentioned top targeting top two rather than top three does that kind of say that winning a, Le- a Leinster does that have more importance for Wexford yeah yeah like I, I've said this from the outset this year Leinster title is our target um you know, we, we had a good run last year. We got through, obviously, got through the in third place last year. Uh, unlucky to lose against Clare in the quarterfinal. But, no, we need to be targeting Leinster, Leinster title this year. Uh, 2019, Wexford won a Leinster title. I think, I'm not sure it was the last one, 96. Or, you know, it was a good few years before 04, that. So, 04. Or 04, sorry, yeah. Yeah, um, against the Kenny. So, we, yeah, we're really, really properly targeting the Leinster championship this year. So, look... The main thing is beat Dublin this this Saturday, and if we don't, we're not gonna we're not gonna win the Leinster title. So it's a big game for us. Just before we finish, there, Dublin yeah. obviously want to play Ian Croker. You happier to take them on there as opposed to Parnell Park? Yeah, anywhere at all. If they want to come down to Wexford Park, could take them on there. Yeah, no, we're delighted to get into Crow Park as opposed uh, to. Parnell, yeah, no, it doesn't. It actually no. it makes no odds. Okay. Really. It's uh, interesting that they didn't bring Westmead to yeah, Croker as well. So, uh, yeah, whatever the decision was made, I suppose ourselves and Galway are heading to Crow Park. So, uh, yeah, no, we're very happy to get in there now this Saturday evening. What sort of shape is Dean Ryan in there? Yeah, he, he was actually a bang. Uh, okay. We're hoping to have him this Saturday. He, he wasn't sure did he give it a, give it a strain or but it, it seems now just looking at some of the footage it seems like a knee into the back of the hamstring so he's a bit sore but uh, won't train tonight but we're, we're um, we reckon he'll be okay for Saturday.